Did you wear your hat the other one? I did wear my hat the other one. Yes. I'm the hat guy now. Okay. That's what you get. That is what I get. <laughs> hey, welcome to uh, Movie Aftermath. We actually caught a really early screening for uh, Let's Be Cops. When does it come out normally? Uh, August 13th. Holy shit, we got really early. The Misfits, we're going places, you guys. Yeah, yeah. right there. Yeah. That's what you get. <laughs> That's what you get. That's what you get for following us, early, early like current subscribers. <laughs> you get what you get. Yeah. I want it that way. Were you, were you expecting me to chime in with that? Yeah. You knew better. Okay, so Nick and I, when we saw <laughs> it, uh, our bar was like, okay, because we, because we, uh, the showtime was like seven o'clock, and we got there about like six fifteen. Yeah, we got there around six. So like we're so like we were killing time, and so we just watched an episode of Undateable on on, on my phone. So that was the bar. Yeah. So that like was I was bar. like Nick. Okay, so this is the this is the bar. One <laughs> this episode. Is the comedy bar. <laughs> one episode of of Undateable on NBC on a like late summer night versus, uh, Let's Be Cops, full feature length movie that you have to pay money for. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know. How do you think it did against that bar? Uh, about the same. About the same. Yeah, they probably about the same. Yeah, this is basically the movie like twenty people like. This is basically what everyone thought Twenty One Jump Street would be. This really stupid premise, <laughs> but stupid but oh, it's, like you know, fun fun premise. So like you know, uh, it's not gonna be like art, but you know, it'll be you know fun, and it was. It was pretty good, yeah, yeah. It was funny. It did what it tried to do. Yeah. Got a little serious at the end. It was fun. It's it's a very standard action comedy, basically. Yeah. So it's, uh, Damon Wayans, uh, Damon Wayans Jr. and Jake Johnson. They're at really shitty places mm -hmm. in their lives right now. They both like sort of like. They don't like where they are. They've lost track of their life goals. They're getting ready to go back to Ohio. Damon Wayans is the least convincing video game designer ever. Ever. No, he cannot design a video Jake game. Did, Jake Johnson, he's not big, but at least they can somewhat buy him as like a court, uh, former college quarterback. Mm hmm But exactly. Damon Wayans, no. No, he is not a video game designer. That was just bullshit. His pitch was the worst. Like, his serious pitch was just horrible. <laughs> It's like, no, that's not what we want. And even the game is. footage you, you see at the end of the movie. It's really, horrible. That would be left off at E3. <laughs> <laughs> if, there was right an actual, if there was an actual panel. Oh, but, yeah. uh, and, like, because, like, his game page was, uh, was like, uh, coincidentally, like, Patrolman L.A. On Patrol. the... <laughs> And that's how he gets his policeman outfit. LA no that War. turns them into cops. LA no War is a better police simulator than this. No. Nothing. It's as bad as LA no War. Wait, let me turn the light. It's a, it's a, I feel empty. There you go. I don't know. That adds too much depth. Yeah, whatever. Well, we'll, we'll play it either way. Let's just turn it off. And so, like, when, like, how, like, no. <laughs> midway through, mid, midway through, like, uh, after they, after, like, this masquerade party. Dude, it's, like, 20 minutes into it that they start copping. Yeah, like, no, like, 15, I don't know, I checked my watch, it was, like, 15 minutes. Wow, they get in that quick. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here's 10 minutes of exposition, we're cops. Basi yeah. <laughs> 10, 15 minutes in, they're already doing, like, let's be 10, cops. 10, 15 minutes, cops, 30 minutes, balls. Name drop. We got there. Title drop. <laughs> Yeah, there are like two of those title droppings. Mm -hmm. Okay, so both of us have seen New Girl, enough New Girl. First and second season. Yeah. They started to get really bad. Uh, yeah, basically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyway, we know how like these two, like uh, Jake Johnson and uh, Damon Wayne, mm -hmm. Damon Wayne's like sort of operate as each other, like in terms of chemistry with each other. What do you think? I think they're pretty well. Like they have good chemistry as actors, but like I think they support their own like over exaggerated characters too much, yeah. you know? Like they help each they're other not over exaggerate their characters. They're not particularly well defined characters. Or no, they know. They don't really define their characters. Just make them really vague and over exaggerated. Very broad. Yeah. I was like they're like they have but nothing if, on, if it's a purpose, I guess. They have nothing on like Channing or uh, Jonah Hill. Channing Tatum or Jonah Hill in the Jump Street movies. Yeah, I wouldn't know. But uh, Jake Johnson, Jake Johnson, like he seems high the entire time. And I mean that in a good way, because he just seems like he's having a blast. <laughs> He, cause again, he's basically a high school, uh, college jock, so he basically is like, whatever, let's do this. <laughs> yeah, I don't care about things. He gets get, really into it. I like, I like when he starts getting into it, he's like, like yeah, I'm gonna learn the hand signs. Yeah. <laughs> code 4, code 4. Oh, but that, that Russian mafia dude, he was, he was cool with the spider tattoos. 
this had better villains. This has had somewhat better villains than I thought it would be. At least with the yeah, I like the villain. Yeah. The main one, Andy Garcia, like was wasted in this movie entirely. I think. Which one was he? He was the guy. With, he was the head that the corrupt cop. Yeah, he was. Yeah. He wasn't. Either. He didn't say any. He didn't do anything funny. You figure out that he's a corrupt cop when he starts taking pictures and you see the flag on his effing coat. I didn't see the flag, but I got the flag on his coat. And I'm like, oh, that's another coat. That's a cop. Yay. Oh, is it okay? Yeah, you see like this flag on his shirt, and you're like, oh, what else could that be? No. He's either the president or a cop. <laughs> I don't think he's the president. <laughs> uh, uh, again, like. Oh, and at like 30 minutes, there's a large, naked, sumo looking dude and balls and the Wayne's guy's face. Listen, it, like, to the tune of Miley Cyrus's beloved. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 Molly Cyrus's beloved hit, Breaking Ball. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. It was funny. Lots of ball in his face. Like, he doesn't try to get up. He's just like, there's ball in my face. Yeah. Mm hmm. Lots of screaming ball in his face. <laughs> Legitimately, that was funny. At this point, all I expect from, like, a big studio comedy is at least one to two. Like, you know, legitimately laugh out loud moments. So that was mm -hmm. one. Yeah, that was a good one. And what was the other one? I'm sure there were two or three other ones. Yeah, there were a few good ones. Yeah. I had a good time overall. I thought the part where he's chasing the kids with the football was overdone. I'm like, you don't need that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe okay, I started laughing, like, uh, when uh, he, uh, David... And the little kid keeps cursing out the other guy. <laughs> no, when he, no, when David Wayne started getting hot, got near the end of his high, he just started being sad about everything. <laughs> I feel <just> sad! <laughs> My heart hurts. It just hurts. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I think David Wayne's though is kind of like iffy in this movie. His, he seems a little lost. Or like, he does. Yeah. yeah. And he, his character, well, his character was sort of the most annoying because like he keeps being the downer. Like, let's not go yeah. gung ho into this. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I think you're not supposed to like him and, until like the end. He's like, okay. Let's and the love it. interest has like basically no plot. None, but she's pretty cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they. There's a part where she like gets naked. and You're like, oh, we're gonna see boob in this. Yeah. Nope. Just her back. You see back. Yeah. They they used their nakedness on balls. <laughs> it's like, okay, you get this much nakedness per hour movie. Well, We're like going to use it all on ball. Same thing happened in, a, in a We Are The Millers. We have An Jennifer Aniston mm -hmm. stri as stripper, but all we do is see... You see ball and penis. Yeah. We're going to use our nakedness on ball. It's a new yeah. trend. I'm not unknown proof. Yeah, I think this is becoming an annual thing for Fox. One, one, one ball a year. <laughs> no, an, an annual thing for like all the studio comedies. Okay, we, okay, studios. We get each... Okay, it's like a secret meeting between like the <laughs> the big studios. It's like, okay, guys, one R-rated comedy a year in it August. to have... Testicles. Yes. No boob. Just testicles. Yeah. Just leave it out. Let, let, let it hang out there. It's going to be there. Yeah. People are going to be weirded out. But it's going to be there. <laughs> what is it going to be this year? We got the bull. <laughs> Millers. Unless Let's be cops. This seems like a bit of a, like a soft R. Like, there was not as much Yeah, it was, a, it was a soft R. There's, there's like, not as much there's, cursing. There's some F words, but there's not much. Yeah. There's not much creative from- There's like no blood at all. Yeah. It's just some scratches, but I don't think that really counts. Yeah. It's a little disappointing, really. <laughs> Apparently, like, all it takes for us to be cops is basically, okay, about 2000 for, 2000 for the actual car on eBay. Apparently, it's only $2,000. Uh, let's say 250 for, like, the police sirens and, like, you know, the- uh, et cetera, yeah. The pacing on it from Kinko's. Yeah, that seems about and right. And then the 250 for like a couple uniforms, maybe some real bullet of wrist. That seems yeah, helpful. That's it. So 2,500 hours and you're an officer of the law. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Movies. Yeah. Again, like, I sort of, I'm sort of struggling to forget like other particularly great lines. Yeah, me it. too. They, they were gone. Oh, there's that one part where he's on the crack and he's all, whoa, yeah. look at all of this. Yeah. No, the stuff, not the lights. <laughs> <laughs> Or, whoa, this, clothes, bulletproof vest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the spot off. Yeah, the clothes part, that one's all right. <laughs> it opened it's a bathroom. Right. It's it, not it opened, right. Yeah. It's all right. <laughs> again, like, again, it's basically exactly what people thought it's, it's 21 Jump Street would be. It's a B minus. Yeah, it's a B minus. It's like, you know, it's it's a completely, like, stupid premise. That, uh, that, you know, like, if you can get, if you can deal with it, it's easy enough to sort of relate and have fun, too. You, you get what you expect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At least a few decent laughs. Like, you know. Some yucks. Yeah. 
So if you need laughs, either watch Let's Be Cops or Undateable on NBC. <laughs> <laughs> we are being funded by NBC. Yeah. Doo -doo. That's all I want. NBC is auto like, yeah, like at least personally for us too. We should get a lot of credit from NBC for helping out with like. Well, I get it for Community and Parks and Rec. I get it for Community. And I and I watch almost nothing but NBC shows. It's because. I used to watch Hannibal for a while, but mm. I got really mad at NBC after they canceled Community. We love Yahoo, though. Yahoo. 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 Yeah, I can't do. It. I don't have the. I don't have like the baritone to do the. <laughs> Yahoo. Yeah, I Yahoo. Can't do it. Okay, I can get there. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that will be all for now. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye.